going to show you how to do a gold wash today. This is an Eastern Hard Rock Maple guitar body. Just showing you the figure here. I did a gold burst a number of years ago on a quilted maple top. This was water-based gold flaked paint that I rubbed in. Got this really neat effect. Today I'm going to be using Liquid Leaf. It's a solvent based paint. I thinned it a little bit. About half paint and half thinner. It was a little bit too thick. So what I did is just thinned it out half and half in a little cup. The process is very simple. You just rub this in to the guitar body. So this figure isn't all that heavy on this piece of wood, but I'll get some nice subtle lines running through this once I'm all done. I thought about maybe staining this black first and then sending back to have the figure pop a little bit more, but I really just wanted to show you how to do a gold wash without having too much trouble. This works really well on heavily figured woods. I'll show you an example of that coming up in the video. So we just cover the whole body in this gold paint. What's really nice about this gold paint is it's very thin and it gets in all the little crevices. So I saw a couple scratch marks and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand off some of those scratch marks that were left with some 400 grit sandpaper. And you can see the cool effect here of actually uh, sanding back most of the finish. You have the gold sitting in the grain and you get a little really neat effect. So you can just wipe that gold on, sand off, and you've got a real different looking finish. We'll sand both sides here. Back actually has a little bit nicer figure than the front, but it's got some weird colorations in it. So what we'll do is then we'll go back and recover the guitar. Here I've added just a little bit of thinner to that original mix. So it's a tad thin from previous. Wipes on nicely. Go ahead and speed up the video. And as I put on this final coat, I really try and get some really wide uh, wipes so that way I'm not getting any streaks. I do really wide wipes across the wood. That way it's not going to leave any streaks and get that to rub in nicely. So on the second coat I've covered the whole body. Sides got a nice thick coat on it. So I wanted to show you what this looks like on a heavily figured piece of wood. This is a heavily figured piece of flame maple. It's been sanded down to 400 grit. Using that same mix, I put on one thick coat. I took a little bit of thinner on a rag and just wiped off some of the excess. And you can see what a neat effect this is with a really heavily figured piece of wood. It's almost like a a yellow burst but it has a, a really beautiful gold tint into the figure. So next I use some water-based folk art gold paint. Same process we're gonna rub this in. Didn't thin this at all but this is just the back side of that piece. Gonna rub this in see what it looks like. Gonna grab a little bit of water on that rag next. Wipe it down. Here the rag's wet. I'm just going to make sure this gets in. Wipe it clean. So then here is the finished product on the back side here. Both products have similar effects. I think I actually like the solvent based paint than the water based. But really back and forth it looks very similar. So then lastly what we're going to do here on my guitar body is we're going to use some steel wool and we're going to pull just a little bit of that gold off. I want to show a little bit more of the figure. So we're going to just take this and rub in a kind of a, a burst-ish pattern. 
And we're gonna show a little bit more figure than what's on there. Clean up a couple of the streaks on the sides. So here's the finished guitar body. It's got some really neat figuring running through this. Real neat effect with this gold wash. Happy with the way this turned out. Unsure what type of finish I'm gonna put on this guitar body, so I just left it at this. I'll either do a wipe on poly or spray on a two part. You can see the side by side of a figured piece versus a lightly figured piece, how much nicer that figured piece turned out. Thanks for watching guys. Check out my new website. See you in the next vid.